Welcome to Wrestling Talk in the Shop, where we cover all things professional wrestling, from new wrestling to classic wrestling and everything in between. We go to wrestling, we do some wrestling, and everything in the ring. Join us now for Wrestling Talk in the Shop. Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Wrestling Talk in the Shop, and today we're going to unbox something that I got from that collection. It's pretty old. I don't know what year it's from or see what we can it's from 2016 but it's, it's sealed and i thought hell we will unbox it on the channel and see what it is it is a slam wwe slam crate powered by loot crate the first i don't know what that i've never been a uh, crate loot crate or you know i'd like to get that aew crate that they're selling but it's pretty expensive this has a uh 65 dollar value anyway uh we'll bust right into it and Get started. Get my handy dandy pocket knife. What? It's at the bottom. What's at the bottom? How to open it. Oh. What do you mean it's at the bottom? See the circle? Right here? No, see the circle on the side. Circle. Oh. All right. Sorry about those technical difficulties there. Trying to figure out how to open the thing. Get my pocket knife here. Got to hide it from these toddlers that run around here. Uh, Y'all be sure and uh, check out our uh, first ever weekly uh Review, week, weekly wrestling pro, podcast program whatever you want to call it show it's not really a podcast because we're going to do it right in here but we're going to upload the first video sunday december 10th we've got some wrestling history we're going to talk about and we're going to review all the wrestling from the week uh, anyway we'll bust right into that uh, i knew there was more i had to cut oh yeah, we've got wrestling history that we've talked about. I mean, uh, this week Umaga has passed away. It's been uh, 14 years since uh, Umaga passed away. And uh, a lot of good wrestling going on this week. What did you guys think about that Edge and uh, Christian match? The turn that everybody saw coming with uh, Nick Wayne's mom. First, we've got... Oh, that's pretty cool there. It is a... Uh, New, New Day riding a unicorn. Uh... My daughter would love that unicorn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I may end up giving that to her. I doubt it. But anyway, you can look at it. Show it to them, Lindsay. Show them the detail on it. Yeah. Made with 100% positivity. <laughs> <laughs> the new day. Yes, it is. You can't see the unicorn on this side. But he's wearing sunglasses. He looks pretty cool. Yeah. And some sneakers. Then we've got... With all three of them on his back. So the back of It's got the new day. Hey, Unicorn is doing all hope, the work. Hope Big E gets <laughs> to make it back to the ring someday. That was a bad thing sure. what happened to him. Sure was. I remember we'll set that there. Then we've got... This is a pin. This is the oh. uh, Winged Eagle uh, WWE Championship belt. That is uh, cool. That's very cool. I don't know if it's a hat pin or what. Yeah. World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. That's pretty neat. I like that. I didn't see that. Then we're going to move right along here. We've got a belt buckle of some sort. It said what was in it, but I guess it did. I don't know. I didn't pay, I didn't pay attention. This is a Dean Ambrose. I guess that's what that is. Mm -hmm. Is that Dean Ambrose? Yeah. Dean Ambrose uh, belt buckle here. This is uh, Dean Ambrose, if you haven't been watching wrestling. This, is, this box is from 2016. So Dean Ambrose is now John Moxley in AEW. But uh, he'll be Dean Ambrose at some point in time, I figure. Yeah. Then we've got. You want to wear that around? 3XL. The guy that I bought this wrestling collection. He's a big boy. What's the shirt, Lindsay? Bada boom, realest guys in the room. Well, Big Bill is still wrestling today. Uh, that's He was part of that. What was that tag team? Did you say what the tag team name uh, was? I can't even remember what the. Enzo and. I know, but what was their name? You don't say what their name was. I can't remember what they're Oh, anyway, it was Enzo Amore, and uh, I can't remember what his name was in WWE, but it's Big Bill. Big Cass. Big Cass, yeah, it was Big Cass in WWE. He is one half of the uh, AEW Tag Team Champions with Ricky Starks. And then we've got here, I don't know what this is, a mulch plant. <laughs> a Mitch plant. A Mitch plant, oh. Oh, okay. What is a I'm Mitch plant? Sure. Show them what a... I, uh, maybe like, it was somebody's uh, gimmick or something. Yeah, I don't know. Mitch plants it. I don't know. Let's see what it is. It's a bamboo pot, a seed packet, and a peat pellet. 
And here's the directions for you to grow uh, whatever's in there. So, anyways, if you want a wrestling plant, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> then we've got these cool sunglasses. Oh, they're not really sunglasses. How do I look? They're cool. They're they're just snazzy. Then we very macho manish. Sasha Banks, maybe. There's that. I don't know who. That's the tag oh, team with the shirt. I don't even know what the. I think they just called them Enzo and Cass. I don't think. They I, I thought they had a name, but anyway, I mean that's Big Bill. He's prospered, and Enzo Moria. He's he's doing some cool stuff. And then we've got to treat yourself there. To treat yourself to another crate, yeah. Huh. I haven't seen it's anything out, that just blew huh? me away in this one. Then we've got an NXT patch. Now that's pretty cool. I don't know what. Maybe you put that on your jacket. You know. Yeah, it's an iron on so or a hat. Yeah. You got in, uh, Austin Aries there. He was, uh, they said he was NXT pro uh, prospect since his arrival on NXT. Austin Aries has proven himself to be the most de determined superstar on the roster. Implemented an offense that equates parts hard hitting and high flying. Our Aries has racked up world champions championships wherever he went. Uh, backing up the extra confident superstar moniker, the greatest man that ever lived. Hey, and Austin Aries was a good uh, superstar. I really liked his work in uh, TNA when he became a uh, world champion. Uh, and I wish he would have hung around. He, you know, he wrestled on a, uh, I believe it was WrestleMania 32, the pre-show. He wrestled uh, Neville, which is now Pac, and uh, he was mad. They were pissed off because it was on the pre-show, and I guess they didn't get the same payoffs. That was back before the network and stuff. But anyway, show him that card. Great wrestler. I don't know what he's doing nowadays, but mm, it's all wrapped up and everything. Anyway, I guess that's uh, that's it, folks. That's it. We're that's empty. Oh, it's got it. a little ring on it. Yeah, it's got a little ring. Cool. I don't know what these cost. It was $35. Oh, it was $35. I wouldn't give $35 for it, folks. I mean, to me, it's not. The only value here that I like is this. The pin, I'll keep that. The patch, I'll put that somewhere. That'll display well. That. He says he's going to keep it all. <laughs> oh, I'm not keeping it all. I'm keeping these three things. Uh, uh -huh. The rest of it, I don't know what you do with this stuff. I mean, I know I'm not bashing crates. I know people like crates, but... You know, it's not not really for me. I mean, I like to know what I'm buying. If I'm spending $35, I can get an ultimate edition of figure or whatnot. But, uh, they're probably not even $35. No, they're probably not with the inflation that's going on. They're probably $65 with a with a, with a a $120 value or whatever. But anyway, uh, this we just want to get on here and make a quick video. And I had that hill in here. And I said, oh, we'll, we'll unbox that. I know. And, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Maybe I will buy another one. <laughs> he probably will. I'd like to have that AEW one, uh, but I just can't pull the trigger. But... Hey guys, I forgot to say the booklet. The booklet is pretty cool. Uh, I just now realized that after we turned the camera off, first ever crate. But it turns into a Shinsuke Nakamura poster and that's very cool and Holding uh the nxt championship yep yeah, he should be he should have should be a world champion in wwe at some point in time i don't know why they haven't made to put the world title on him right now he's uh he's gonna wrestle cody next monday and cody's gonna, he's gonna be a stepping stone in cody's path then we've got a on the back side we've got a little uh program about xavier woods austin creed uh but anyway we'll bring that up you you want to show it to them, read it yep. to them? What is it? Oh, it's pretty long. Okay. Okay, we can read some of it, though. We caught up with Xavier Woods, one-third of the New Day, the longest reigning WWE Tag Team Champions, to ask about hobbies, uh, life-changing first, and his experiences with Loot Crate. When did you first decide to become a wrestler? I was really little. They were asking kids what they want to be when they grow up, and it was football player, doctor, all this stuff, and I said, I want to be a wrestler. And they were like, oh, okay, that's weird. And I was like, yeah, you're weird. So I guess first grade was when I realized something. it was something I wanted to do. What are some of your hobbies outside of the ring? I love video games and anime. I just got a bunch of comic books that I'm really excited about. Black Panther comic books. Miles Morales, Spider-Man. I'm super pumped to get into those. I love K-pop. I'm listening to Korean boy band called Shiny right now. And they are fantastic. I wonder if he's still into that. Anyways, first video game, Super Mario with Duck Hunt on it. Probably like the rest of us millennials. 
Um, what was your first geek love? I can sing pretty much any 90s cartoon theme song at the top of my head. So, anyways. Anyway, very cool. Uh, very cool. And uh, here's where you can order your own loot crate. <laughs> only $29.99. Yeah, only $29.99. It's not promoted. We're not paid to say that, so <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not twenty nine ninety. Yeah, it's, that, like I said, that's eight years old now, or going on seven years. But uh, we're nearing the end of twenty twenty four. But anyway, we're gone this time for real, guys. I think we went over it all. And uh, remember, tune in Saturday or Sunday, December tenth, for our wrestling show. If that's something you're interested in, and we appreciate you watching, like and subscribe. That's it.